Hello creators, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create personalized mugs and sell them on your Etsy account using My Designs. So let's jump right in. So the first thing that I like to do before I ever start designing or creating any products is to research and see what's actually selling. So I'm on EtsyHunt.com here. Um, I'm looking at their database, their product database. I just searched coffee mug and then I put in customization or personalization is what it means so that I can see what personalized coffee mugs are selling. And then we'll see if we can find something here that's easy to replicate. Um, this Father's Day mug I think would be really easy to replicate, but let's keep looking here. Uh, maybe we should do something like this one here. It's a funny uh, favorite child mug. So basically they just um, slash out the names of their siblings and then they put their own name is my favorite. So we'll jump over to my designs and we'll start creating something similar to this to put up on our shop. I'm now on the My Designs website. The next step is to create a collection if you don't already have one. Uh, you can do that by going to listings here under menu. Once you're in listings, uh, at the top here uh, next to listings, there's a button you can click. And then you can go ahead and just click add folder and name it whatever you'd like to. As you can see, mine is called personalized mugs. Once you get into a collection, the next step is to actually start creating your design. Um, and you can do that by going to our canvas system under create here. I'm gonna go ahead and select my template. So I'm gonna click templates. I'm gonna search mug here. And then we're gonna select the 15 ounce mug and we're gonna select um, Swift POD as our print partner. And they only have one template available. So I'll go ahead and select that. I'm then gonna click onto it and toggle the background off as I personally like it to be transparent. And then we're gonna select some text and just add some generic text onto our canvas. Um, if you remember right, the, um, this design had, I believe, four names, and then it said, is my favorite at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my siblings' names. So we'll say Curtis, uh, maybe increase the size of this just a little bit. And then I like to extend it out to the edge of where I want the design to go. And this is this mug template wraps around the mug. So essentially, I'm going to create a design that is on both sides of the mug. So if you were looking at it, um, it'd be on the front and on the back. So once I have this how I like, I'm just going to go ahead and copy it and paste it a couple times. Make sure these are lined up the right way. And then I'll go ahead and change the name. So I'm going to go leave that one as Curtis. This one I'm going to say Justin. And, and then we're going to skew this last name down a little bit as this one is the favorite child. And then I'm going to say Matt. And then, uh, well, actually, we're going to leave that a little tighter. If you remember right, these also had a strike through the top couple names. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll copy and paste this text box one more time down here at the bottom. And then we're just gonna say, is my favorite. Um, and I would actually spend more time um, making this design look better. I probably wouldn't use just a generic text. I'd go find a font I actually like. But uh, for the sake of saving time, I'm just showing you guys how to do this. So um, I'm going to just leave the design as is. But I do want to right click and uh, copy this and then paste it one more time so that we can then put it on the other side and make sure that it is lined up in the exact same way. So right there looks like it's perfect. Uh, once we have our design file created, the next step is to actually save this. And we can do this by going to the top right corner, clicking save to collection. I'm just gonna say 15 ounce mug file is the name of this. We're gonna create a new listing. We're gonna save it in our main file slot. And this part is very important. If you're doing personalized products, you need to make sure you click this save as editable button. If you do save your file like this, when you receive an order, you can come into this exact same template and, and file that you created and just change these names to whatever your customer requested. So we'll go ahead and create the new listing after we click save as editable. 
That'll take just a second and I'll jump over to my listings again and I'll show you that's what the um, design file looks like. So the next step is to actually get some data filled out here in our title, tags, and description fields. Um, and I like to use our Vision AI to do that. Um, what Vision AI does is essentially just scans your image and then creates the data for you. So what, once we get to this point, just select your listing, go to Vision AI, which is this little eye here, the eye icon. Now we're gonna select our input file slot as the main file that we have, which is this one. Our product type is going to be a mug. The platform is Etsy. We want the newest model. We want it to generate title, description, and tags. And then we can also include the product features if we would like to. Um, we just have to select the actual product that we're selling, which um, I'm not sure where it's at. It might take just a moment. There's the 11 ounce mug, which we were going to do the 11 ounce and the 15 ounce. Maybe we'll just leave product features out on this. That, if I do select that, it just adds it to the bottom of our description. Um, but we do want to say custom instructions here. I'm going to say this is a fifth or 11 ounce and 15 ounce mug or personalized mug. Please include this in the data. And then we're going to go ahead and click generate listing data and then yes, run Vision AI. Uh, that should take just a couple seconds and then I'll show you guys what that looks like and it looks like it's already done. So you'll see the title says custom name mug, personal favorite mug, and then it's there's the personalized 11 ounce mug, 15 ounce custom mug. So the, the title looks fantastic. I'm not really gonna read through all of this. Uh, what I always recommend to people, or rather I tell people is that Vision AI gets you about 90% of the way there, but I would always still run through this data, change some of it, um, maybe do some research and add your own keywords um, before you finalize the um, data. So once we get to this point, the next step is to actually just create our, um, our file for our 11 ounce mug as this one was for the 15 ounce mug. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this same file we already had. I'm gonna just copy this, um, this exact design we have. And then I'm gonna exit out of that and I'm gonna go back to our Canvas system. This time I'm gonna to go to uh, templates. I'm gonna search mug again, but I'm going to select the fit, or excuse me, the 11 ounce white mug this time. And we need to make sure we select the same print partner. And then we'll go ahead and just toggle the background off again. And then I'm gonna paste this design here. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller too as this one was meant for, or excuse me, the size of that was meant for the 15 ounce. So I think that looks about perfect. I'll make sure it's centered here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just click save to collection again. I'm gonna name this one 11 ounce mug this time, just so I know which is which. And then we're going to create, or excuse me, we're gonna save this on the same listing and then we just want to find an empty file slot, which I'll put it in mockup 10 here. And then once again, extremely important that you don't forget to save as editable. So then we'll go ahead and create the new file there. Um, and we'll jump back over to our listings. And now you can see here, we have both of our files. So once we have our design files created and we have our data done, the next step is to create some mockups. And we can do that by actually going here and creating the mockups, or we can do it during the publishing process, which I'm going to do. Um, this is more for if you wanna do it ahead of time, or if you're using like your own custom mockups rather than the mockups we have in our library. So I'm just gonna to go to publish at this point, and then we'll go ahead and select Etsy under print on demand. Uh, this should already be mapped for you the correct way, and then we'll go ahead and uh, select pick a product. Then we're just gonna type mug here and we will select the white 15 ounce. And this is important. We use Swift POD to set up our um, template. Um, so we need to make sure we select them as our print partner as that's who it is, our, our file is properly set up for. Now at this point, we can go ahead and add some more mockups um, and we'll do that in just a moment. But I do want to also add here another product. If you remember right, we're doing the 11 ounce mug and the 15 ounce mug. So I need to go ahead and find the 11 ounce mug now which is right here, select Swift POD again. And then we're gonna go ahead and change the print file to the 11 ounce print file. 
and then we'll jump back over to our 15 ounce mug. Um, I did make a change to the design um, off camera because I noticed that um, this is my favorite was extended out to the edge here and so it looks a little bit weird on those mock-ups because like I said they wrap around the mug so I just put a break and put it down a little bit further uh, but you can actually change your file right here if you'd like to by going to the canvas and updating it um, before you pu publish this to your Etsy shop. So the color is obviously only white and the sizes is 15 ounce and then 11 ounce if we select the other one up top. Um, we can add some 11 ounce mock-ups if we'd like to, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to add a couple um, 15 ounce mugs. So we'll go ahead and do this one here, maybe this one as well. And then let's get one of um, one mock-up of them actually showing it. Give me one moment here. We have to actually make sure that we select these as well. And then the order in which these mugs are going to show on your actual Etsy listing depends on which one you drag and drop to the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and select um, maybe the one that, that's there already. And, and like I said, with the design, it doesn't look the best, but I would obviously spend much more time creating this um, if I was actually going to sell it. I just hope that you guys can just get the idea of how to do this. Um, with this video. So once we have that selected and we have our mock-ups that we would like, uh, we can go to the next step, which is choose prices. Um, from here, I'm not going to worry too much about pricing. Um, there's only two mugs. Uh, if there was more that we were working with, you could change them all at once by using this side. But since it's just one, I'm going to go ahead and just say I'm selling these for $24.99. Uh, maybe the 11 ounce will be for $21.99. Um, that's how you input your price. Like I said, if you wanted to do more, maybe if you had um, additional colors or something on this, then you could um, replace them all by just clicking, typing your price here, and then clicking apply. Now this shows you your print area preview and it, it says wrap around as it is a wrap around mug. Um, but once you do input your pricing, you can go to the next step, which is preview publish info. This just gives you one last look at what your Etsy listing is going to look like. So it shows us our primary mockup, our actual um, print file, the title, the description, and then the tags are in blue. Um, and this is the last step for um, publishing when you're doing a personalized product. This is extremely important. You need to make sure at the bottom here, you click the personalization box. And then from here, we'll go ahead and enter some instructions. So we'll say, please include the names of the siblings you would like, and then your own name as well. Um, in this format, we'll say one sibling number one, and then we'll say two sibling number two, three sibling number four, and then four your name. And then we'll go ahead and leave it like that. You can really do whatever you would like to in the instructions. I was just doing something generic. Um, so after you have that all done, and then like I said, make sure personalization is checked, you can go ahead and click publish. And that will take just about 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna jump over to the Etsy shop and show you what the listing looks like there. I'm now over on my Etsy shop and as you can see here is the listing that we created. It has the correct primary mock-up, it has our pricing right, the title tags and description are perfect. So that is how easy it is to actually create and sell personalized uh, mugs on my designs or with my designs, excuse me, on your Etsy shop. And you can also do this on your Shopify store if you do have a Shopify store as well. The only thing we have to do here is just select our listing that we would like and then click publish. We always at My Designs push a design or a listing to your draft folder as you do have to pay that 20 cent listing fee. Um, I hope everything in this video made sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.